This video is a quick how-to guide for configuring a static IP address on the Raspberry Pi. The method of configuring a static IP address on the Raspberry Pi has changed with the release of Raspbian Jesse. Static address settings are no longer made through the interfaces configuration file, but are instead made through the dhcpcd.conf configuration file. For the regularly updated companion article for this video, please visit www.lowfamily.com.au slash pi. Use the nano text editor to modify the dhcpcd.conf file with the following command. sudo nano slash etc slash dhcpcd.conf Press Alt slash to move to the last line of the file. Press Enter to add a new line to the end of the file. Add the following fields, adjusting the values to suit your own network environment. Interface, interface name. Specifies the name of the network interface. On the Raspberry Pi this will generally be E0, but could also be WLAN0 if you are using a Wi-Fi adapter. Static, IP underscore address, equals, IP address, slash, mask. Specifies the static IP address and subnet mask bits to be configured on the interface. A subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 equates to mask bits of 24. For other values, use a subnet calculator. Static, routers, equals, IP address. Specifies one or more router gateway addresses to be configured on the interface. Multiple addresses should be space delimited. Static. Domain underscore name underscore servers equals IP address. Specifies one or more domain name service server addresses to be configured on the interface. Multiple addresses should be space delimited. Once the appropriate changes have been made, press Ctrl-X to exit Nano, press Y to save changes when prompted, and press Enter to confirm dhcpcd.conf as the file name. Ctrl-X Y Enter Reboot the Raspberry Pi, using the following command. sudo reboot The Raspberry Pi will reboot immediately. Once rebooted, re log into the Raspberry Pi. If you are connecting remotely via SSH, remember to use the new static IP address. Show the interface configuration using the following command ifconfig e0. The Raspberry Pi is now configured to use a static IP address. That concludes this instructional video guide. Thank you for watching. For the regularly updated companion article for this video, please visit www.lowfamily.com.au/pi.